In Sweden, we have this thing called offentlighetsprincipen. Basically, the information about everything and everyone is public information, which personally I think is good. It prevents corruption and aids democracy. But it also means that I can very easily put together a list of every cop car in the country. So my idea is to put that into an Excel sheet, write some simple code that can scan license plates and compare it to my list. And suddenly the undercover cops aren't that undercover. Well, how hard can it be? I've gotten a program to a state where you can at least detect the presence of a plate. Only problem is that it's reacting like a demon shown a crucifix. I think I have the attention span of a four year old. I can't even focus on this project for more than five minutes at a time. So I sat down, pulled an all-nighter, and by the morning, I had something that actually worked. Kinda. Okay, so this is what I've come up with. Instead of using the garbage camera from the laptop, I'm gonna use the feed from my phone camera. Only problem is that my computer can't really process that. So when I'm running the code, it crops into a much smaller picture which is a lot easier on the computer and it also isn't analyzing the full frame for plates only about the middle part so when we pull up a picture of a police car it locates where the plate is and then reads the text only problem is with this picture that i spent about two hours trying to fix is that this car has been scrapped so the plate isn't actually used anymore which is why it says it's a civilian vehicle but when I figured out that, I found another picture to try it on, which has an MLB plate, which are also not used in the public. It's only for like commercials and stuff like that. But at least it got the reading right, which meant that it was a problem with my list. So I kept searching for good pictures that I could try it on and found this one. And it just worked instantly, which I probably think is the first for a product that I've done. And I got even more surprised when it worked on other pictures. Even cars that were supposed to be undercover got easily recognized and read by my script. The only problem I'm really facing is that it's really slow at processing the text. But I think that's because of my shitty laptop. So if I were doing it on a better computer, it would be able to do more frames per second. So, I think we're ready to test it on the street. Oh, damn, it's still here. Okay, I'll just overlay what the program sees so that we can understand it a bit better and also have a frame rate that's tolerable. My computer is really struggling with it being on battery power, so the lag is pretty significant. Here, I'm just trying to go as close as possible to the number plate to see where it starts detecting it. By tweaking the settings of the camera feed, I could get a clearer reading on a plate. And by the way, I'm gonna fast forward for you a bunch of this footage. I was out for about like 40 minutes before I could get something. This was about the furthest I could get away before it stopped reading it. So let's just check how far that is. I would call this maybe suboptimal. You should be about a yard for every mile an hour. And this is at best like a fourth of that. But fuck it, let's test it anyway. Okay, wait, pause, wait, oh shit. 10 times speed might have been ambitious. Rewind, stop, stop, rewind. Okay, uh, this is what I wanted to talk about. This plate is clear as day, but it didn't even recognize it. That should have been my first red flag that this isn't going to work. As you can see, my old school computer can't really handle the processing needed for OCR especially not on battery power. So now follows 30 minutes of absolutely nothing happening except my camera or, well, phone flies around on my dashboard wherever turn. If I had any kind of budget for these videos, I would probably pay for an API that could handle processing and then run it for a browser so you could use it on your phone. But well, 
let's just say I've been using the same coffee filter for a week. I couldn't let it go. I just couldn't. And it was a great idea. And I just rewrote the whole thing in HTML and made it into a website. I used someone's API, which I found was free for the first 2000 uses, 2500 uses, which gives you about three and a half hours of usage if you scan the plates every five seconds. Here's the test of how it went when I tried and it, it just works. If you're gonna try this yourself, you'll have to go get your own key because I can't pay for everyone's usage. But it's free and it's very easy to get. Just sign up, go to dashboard, settings, then copy the key. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by them. They were just the easiest to implement. It's really easy to use. You just come up behind someone, the plate scans, and you see, oh, not the cup. And then you can overtake. Obviously, I'm in the A2 here, so I don't have the option to overtake. But if you have a strong car, maybe you can do that. And the URL is platescanner.com. Oh, never mind. Uh, we're going with platescanner.com because that saved me five grand. Uh, what more can I say? Uh, I've also had some options so that you can toggle the interval in, in, fuck, interval between how often it scans the plates so you can save on your API key. And uh, I also made a manual version that you can go in and look up plates manually. This is really more meant for your co-pilot, co-driver, ah, your passenger. You shouldn't be looking up plates while driving. For now, the website only works in Sweden. The US seem to be a hassle to implement with all their states and counties and by just the sheer number of vehicles. But if you know a country that would be as easy as Sweden, comment because I'm open to implementing it. And of course, when you're trying something traffic related, the traffic just disappears. So I decided to turn around and get around the other side because there seemed to be more traffic that way. And that's when I got into a roundabout with a lot more cars. And if I had a passenger, it would be great if someone switched over to the one second interval, as you can scan more plates. But even with several plates on screen, it just handled it fine. My phone, however, couldn't handle the massive G-forces that the A2 puts down in corners. So I guess the test is over. Obviously, this isn't exactly how the site will look. I have some small bug fixes to fix and I'll add some zoom and stuff like that. And also you'll of course be blasted with ads. 